Hi, David Fine here with Keys Moz. Welcome to our Wacky Worm series. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a wacky worm from South Florida. It's the white peacock, Arnardia jatrophy guantanamo. Cool bug, you're not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned. The white peacock is one of Florida's most common butterflies. It's just about everywhere, but it's a really, really cool bug. Uh, Medium-sized butterfly, uh, wingspan between 20 and 30 millimeters. Uh, it's a white butterfly with brown and orange markings banding on the side. The forewings got a black dot and the hind wings got two black dots. Uh, sexes are similar, but females are slightly larger and the winter forms tend to be a little bit more heavily marked and can even be grayish at times instead of white. The subspecies Guantanamo flies only in South Florida and the Bahamas, but other subspecies of this butterfly can be found throughout the Caribbean and Central and South America. The white peacock lives in a variety of different habitats. Uh, it inhabits pinelands, swampy areas, and predominantly canal banks, and pretty much anywhere in South Florida where there's fresh water, you're gonna find white peacocks. They have no problem in urban areas, and we're gonna tell you why in a second. The white peacock has two major host plants. The first one is Lipia notifloria. It's the carpet flower, or creeping charlie. Grows in people's grass, common lawn pest actually, for most uh, people with lawns in the St. Augustine grass in South Florida, where they're usually trying to get rid of that plant. Well, that's the host plant for the white peacock. Another one is Bacopa. It's a plant that lives down near the water's edge, and, and that's why you anywhere near canal banks or ponds around streams in South Florida, uh, you're going to have this Bacopa plant growing. It grows right into the water and out of the water, and white peacocks love that stuff. They'll also use black and brownie eye, the green shrimp plant, which is an exotic plant. They happily use that as well. This plant also grows in people's yards, so you can see why the white peacock has no problem living in urban South Florida. Because the host plants of this butterfly are really low growing, they grow, they grow in the grass, uh, the butterfly itself, the habits, they fly very low as well. They usually hug the ground in their flights. Females lay round yellowish green eggs on the leaves of the host plant and Larvae are black with branching black spines. And when they get into later instars, the spines actually turn orange. They actually look very similar to a malachite larva. Obviously, they're a little bit smaller than a malachite larva, but uh, telling a white peacock larva from a malachite larva, like in, say, like the fourth instar, might be a little bit challenging. Uh, they feed on the same host plant, black and brownie eye. The chrysalis of this butterfly is looks like a green jelly bean. They pupate hanging upside down on the stems of low growing vegetation or its host plant uh, down in actually in the grass or low, low growing vegetation. Um, one of our most common butterflies all over the place on canal banks, you're going to see them all year round in South Florida. They breed throughout the entire year. The white peacock is one of South Florida's most common butterflies. You can find them in every month of the year. If you want to find a white peacock, just find a canal bank or a pond in South Florida. You walk along the pond or a canal bank anywhere near fresh water, you're going to have white peacocks. They're going to fly all year long. Very, very common butterfly. Although the butterfly is common in South Florida, it is not very common in the Florida Keys, but it has been recorded on most of the islands in the Florida Keys. Raising the white peacock in captivity is a very easy thing. A wild caught female will lay a couple hundred eggs, no problem, uh, in a very short period of time if you put her in a screened in enclosure with some of the host plant. Uh, caterpillars aren't picky either. They'll eat uh, just about 
any part of the host plant that you put in. And if, as long as you keep putting host plant in every couple of days, the caterpillars, they'll just eat and eat and eat and they'll pupate uh, just fine. Very easy bug to raise in large numbers. This okay. white peacock. Oh. All right, white peacock is, oh, there you go. That's the butterfly caterpillar that we're looking for, guys, right there in Ardia Jatrophy, white peacock. It's getting late in the day, so she's probably looking for a place to spend the night and roost. Uh, but that just shows that this is the habitat of the white peacock, guys. But now what we want to do is we want to just get down in here and just start looking for caterpillars, guys. The, the black or the white peacock caterpillar is a black fuzzy little caterpillar. And he's got little horns on him. And so now, the, basically what we just gotta do is we just gotta look and see if we can find one. Oh, check it out. Found one, guys. There's, there, right there is a white peacock caterpillar, right there, guys. He's probably third in star. He's on the wrong plant. He's probably molting. Oh, look at this. Here's a first in star. Look how tiny. Look how tiny. Two of them. Two white peacock caterpillars on that little plant. Look, guys, this is literally coming out of the water. Once these larvae eat these four leaves, they're going to have nothing left. They must crawl around. I mean, I don't know how they do it. But, guys, look at all the caterpillars. Here's another one. He's probably fourth in star. White peacock right there. And guys, look, there are literally caterpillars all over. There's another two little caterpillars right there. Okay. There are caterpillars all over the place on both of these host plants. And this is like a food smorgasbord for the white peacocks. And guys, here is a fully grown Anardia jatrophy caterpillar. Fully grown white peacock caterpillar right there, guys. That's what they look like. Let me try and zoom in a little bit. Now, when you disturb them, they actually drop as a defense mechanism. They will drop off the plant and fall down into the ground. Oh, see? He curls up in a ball and just literally falls right down into the grass and that's how they will that's some kind of a defense mechanism and how they try to avoid predators they would rather drop down to the ground than just get picked up and get eaten so there it is guys white peacock caterpillar sorry for the dog barking in the background all right now he's gonna crawl he's got those little two little blue dots by his head behind his head on the thorax and that is pretty cool all right well i'm gonna let him back go here onto his creeping Charlie carpet flower host plant. Creeping Charlie. creeping Charlie. That's right. And that's it. But guys, I mean, like, there are literally white peacock caterpillars all over the place. I bet that if I went and just started to collect them, I could I could find a couple hundred white peacock caterpillars just on this one little stretch of my property right here i mean they're all over the place i guarantee you that the little minnows and stuff that cut that hang out by the sides of the water i guarantee you they eat these things like crazy in fact i'll pet i better not say it too loud because i bet my son will start using them for bait um there's another one see that he's actually on the wrong kind of plant this this white peacock larva is is molting into its third instar and he chose to go up on a piece a blade of grass that's in the water the only way that he'll ever get to a place where he can have food again is if he was able to crawl onto this little piece of his host plant right there that's so bizarre guys that's it white peacock caterpillars all over the place and if i just walk down the bank here 
I find all kinds of life. All right, here's a dragonfly nymph, or actually a shell, where a dragonfly nymph emerged. It was pretty cool. Oh, minnows getting chased by something. A little bass. By a little bass, you saw it? See all the minnows, guys? These minnows right there, guarantee you got those things eat white peacock caterpillars like crazy. Guaranteed. But guys, that's about all the time we have today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it's been a little bit informative on the white peacock butterfly. Got plenty more wacky worms videos where this came from. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. It helps out our channel tremendously. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell for notifications so when we put more videos out like this, you'll get them in real time. Uh, guys, thanks for joining our Keys Moz family. we got a great website, www.keysmoz.com. I uh, hope to see you soon, and until next time, enjoy South Florida.